Hey, this is Ron from Clarksville Diggers. We changed the settings on the Equinox a little bit. I'm uh, working Farm 1. Uh, I'm not using no iron boss. And my objective today is trying to find some more shelf rag. I need some more things to put in my relic curio. I'm not going to go through all of the intro. I think you've heard it before, and so have I. But we're gonna head over to where I'm going. That's enough of me time. Let's head over here. As always, got the uh, got the snake boots on. I think y'all heard that enough. But the baby ones are coming out. I ran into that the last time I was here. Speaking of videos, I'm not making as many. I'm digging. I've got relic curio cabinets to fill, and I'm filling them. But it ain't no sense of showing every every hunt. I just can't regurgitate a video out like a lot of people. I think I'm going to set this up as my temporary base count. We're working the uh, stock coil on the Equinox, giving the six inch one. That's a, that's a good one. Gonna give it a break. But uh, I'm not throwing out videos every time I go out. I, j I just can't do that. I don't see any uh, entertainment pleasure or what of uh, videotaping every, every square nail or soda pot top. That's kind of boring to me. And, uh, two, there's so many channels out there. Everybody gets a metal detector and they want to get a, start a channel. It ain't nothing wrong with that. I did it too. Everybody did. But there's just too many. It's getting like competition. People trying to get up on others and trying to survive and having all these giveaways. And, you know, hey, uh, I have nothing against that. Once in the blue moon, I may jump in and participate myself, you know, on the receiving end. But uh, that's, just, that's just not my thing. Uh, most of my videos, they're just here for uh, collection. Probably the day that I leave this good earth, that uh, family or friends or what can come back and see some of the things I do. Listen to some of the crazy stuff I talk about. Anything get a good laugh. That's what it's about. That's what I'm about. I'm not here trying to to be the next uh, Aqua Chigger or Hoover Boys. Actually, uh, I don't. I don't even watch those channels anymore. Uh, channels start getting too big. That just. I'm more interested in the little person finding all the cool things and watching them get so excited for the first time finding a flat button or something that's cool well we're gonna get work in this area again actually um, right over in that way that's where I found uh, the bit boss I'm gonna kinda I pounded this area again by st uh, time after time again, but I still keep thinking there's still some more stuff here. So we're going. There's a lot of iron. This is the area where I do believe a wagon was here and it got uh, blown up. And there's pieces of uh, wood cook stove all over this. When that thing hit, it just everything exploded. And over time, the rain just pushes it down and. That stuff's really everywhere, so I'm gonna get a lot of it. I'm gonna be selective on my on my targets and anything to video. Okay, let's get digging. Y'all help me watch out for them sneaky snakes, okay? Y'all digging holes. Um, got a little bit of signal here. I'm still going down a little further. Did you see that little cavity? 
and there was a dead tree right there too so pretty sure the root system probably done died decayed but it left uh, tunnels and stuff those things can be great little snake habitats you see little depressions in that or could be the opening of little caves a little tunnel don't be sticking your hands down in there you do it something's gonna come out and bite you just a little uh, heads up a little FYI Well, I think this hole probably had just uh, a bunch of little square nails. I did uh, drop my all metal. Um, I'm covering uh, from the positive numbers from one on up. I'm not getting, uh, well, right now I'm getting the negative numbers too. But it's a cute little square nail. A little small, little tack. Again, I would. I said I wasn't going to be showing these. I ain't going to show them no more. But that hole's opening up into multiple cavities. I got one right over there. And I got one over there. And I ain't going to stick my hand in there. So we're going to close this puppy up and we're going to move on. Okay, had a good 13, 14. Got a little iron sound down in there too pulled up a little something we're gonna see what it is I'm gonna take my glasses off for a minute got glasses on I can't see what I'm doing looks like a flattened shot pistol ball yep that's what she is. Gotta be gentle with that old lad. Scratches real easy. Yeah, that's no. That's a little shot pistol ball. Hit something solid too. Oh, and that bugger just flattened out. Alright. Little Civil War history. Got his little pistol ball. Let's check that hole. Anything else in there, we'll come back. Bullet up. Going in the relic cabinet. I got iron, 17, 18, 19, kind of bounce up in the 20s. So there's multiple targets in this one little spot where my coil is. I love a multi-frequency machine. Um, I tried before, I just weren't running a single frequency, but why? Really, that just defeats the purpose of a multi frequency machine you go like uh, running in five uh, kilohertz well you're gonna be eliminating a lot of other targets that could be in or around that hole you got a multi-frequency machine run multi-frequency let's see what we got here okay it's been a little while since we found some bullets found us another one another shot one he show sure ain't no drop Ain't no drop action happened in this place. It was all hot and heavy. And uh, about uh, six, seven inches down. Got us another shot one. I tell you, some of these bullets, man, when they came in, they came in hot and heavy. That hit something. And just totally flattened and shared so I'm taking probably a small pistol bullet <laughs> whatever it hit it hit well how about that about five inches deep and I think I got me a sharps 
and the interesting thing is take my glasses off I think I had some of the shell casing too it was hitting a, a 12 and a 14 and this was actually when I was pulling it up it's a solid bottom two ring that's a sharps and this was some of the shell casing oh, I wish I had that intact it's on my glove that was actually Like so when I was digging it up and then it just it it was like that and then and then it just kind of crumbled but that's some of the shell casing off of it and that's pretty darn cool another Civil War find another bullet that's a good collection all right let's keep going <laughs> thank you Equinox Okay, on this particular hunt, we found a few uh, cool things. I found uh, something uh, more intact I haven't found before, but we'll get to that later. I actually found a surface find. There's probably a combination of pewter and uh, stainless. There's no markings on it, so it's nothing to value, but it's cool. Couple of cool little square nails. Clean that dude up. You probably just about reuse him. That was, uh, I'd guarantee that was a horseshoe nail. Did find a couple of modern bullets. 22 caliber. So that was nothing new. This was interesting. Got me a Sharps. And right around that Sharps, you see these pieces. That was part of the uh, cartridge casing. So probably more than likely that was a dropped, because it still had still had some of that cartridge casing still attached to it. That's pretty cool. That's going in the cabinet for sure. I uh, found uh, a few pieces of uh, shot. This little pistol bullet hit and flattened out. Another sliver of one. Came off of some bullet. And probably another pistol ball, but boy, when that dude hit, <laughs> it splattered. And found a couple of pieces of junk. Cool hunt. Nice to get out. We're back to work again, thank goodness. And uh, so we managed to get out and uh, get us a hunt. May do uh, quite a few more hunts between now and the next video. But like I said, I'm not going to videotape just everything. Y'all have a blessed rest of the evening. I'm going to go home and uh, see what Mama's getting into. Joanne and I says bye, and y'all have a blessed day. We'll see you soon. Thank you for watching the videos. 